What's up and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how easy it is to clean Richardson 112 hats. And here are some things that you're going to need. First is you're going to need some hot water. So I put it to the highest temperature and I filled up my sink. You can fill up a bucket, you could fill up a bathtub, whatever you want to fill up. But you want to fill up the body of water as smallest as possible that you have access to with hot water. And then you want to make sure, because we're going to do a rinse at the end, that it has a rinse nozzle on it. You can do a hose pipe, just make sure it's not too aggressive because it can mess up the cardboard in the hats. Some other things that you're going to need is some spray and wash laundry stain remover. And then you're going to need Lysol's laundry sanitizer with 0% bleach. Make sure it's 0% bleach. And then as far as the last thing you're going to need, most obvious, is going to be the hats. So I've got hats here. You can see that, I don't know if you can tell from the light, but they have just some basic sweat rings in the first few hats. You can see here, a couple of sweat rings there. And then as it progresses through the hats, I'm going to be working in, it gets a little bit dirtier with each hat. So lots of stains around here and throughout the hat that you can see in that one. And then this is probably the worst one, sanding throughout the entire thing. And then all along the bill, just not looking very good at all. And then lastly, I think my friend that gave me this hat thinks it's uh, I'm Houdini or I'm a miracle worker because this is actually concrete on this hat, but we're going to see if that will work. And then you can see the staining throughout it as well. But the very first step that you're going to take is you're going to take the hat that you're wanting to work with and you're going to you're gonna want to grab your spray and wash and you're just going to soak it down real good with the spray and wash everywhere that there's fabric. And then you're going to flip it over. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then you're going to just put the hat to the side and let it soak for two to three minutes as you work on the other ones. So we're just going to do the same process over and over for all the hats. All right, so while you're letting these hats sit for two to three minutes, the next step is going to be to get the laundry sanitizer and put it in the water. So on a sink this size, I'm going to do four cupfuls. And then once I do those four cupfuls, I'm just going to use my hand to stir it up and get the agitation so it mixes really, really well into the water. And then once you've agitated the laundry sanitizer in there, next step you're simply going to just put the hats in the water. I'm going to put them face down just like that so it fully submerges in the water. Do every hat. And then now we're simply going to set a timer for 15 minutes and let these soak and then we'll pull them out and I'll show you what's next. All right, now that 15 minutes is up, I'm gonna show you what we do next. We're simply gonna rinse these hats off and then we're gonna hang them to dry. So you're gonna just rinse it. You just wanna, on this desk, you just simply wanna just rinse it real soft and light just to get any kind of residue off the hat that may still be in it from the two products that we put in it. Make sure you rinse out both sides. Okay, and then you're going to do that. You're going to rinse and repeat each hat along the way. All right, now let's check out the concrete hat and see how it did. Wow, <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed. You can see it's some slight discoloration still in the hat where the concrete part was, but for the most part, it did pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna take these hats and hang them up to dry. All right, in this last step, you're simply just gonna hang up the hats and let them dry for 24 hours. All right, 24 hours later, let's check these hats out. 
So that one's looking pretty fresh and clean for how nasty it was. This one looks back to brand new. And then this hat was the one with concrete all over it. You can still see it has a little bit of discoloration from the concrete that got into it, but it looks a ton better than what it did. But hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content.